The Houston Rockets this year have three draft picks in the 2021 NBA draft, including the second pick, the 23rd pick, and the 24th pick. Now, I will say that the NBA draft is on July 29th, so all we can do for right now is speculate and kind of make our own scenarios on what the Houston Rockets would do in the draft. But uh, obviously, nothing is guaranteed in this league and nothing is guaranteed on who they might draft. So for the most part, we can only imagine what they can do. So what's up? My name is JC. Today, we're going to talk about what the best draft scenario is for the Houston Rockets and who they should draft with their picks. So what's up? My name is JC. If you like the video, drop below, press subscribe button, and continue the video. So I decided to do a video on the Houston Rockets and their draft picks because we are actually, I want to say... 25 no 24 days away from the draft today at recording this i'm recording at 105 on july 5th 2021 so for the most part we are 24 days away from the draft from the nba draft basically yeah so uh i didn't i don't think i really made a draft video for who the houston rockets should draft i mean i did mention who they should draft some like for the most part i did mention a little bit of who they should draft in some other videos but uh for right now i definitely did not make no just a just a simple not really simple but just a straightforward who they should draft with their picks so for the second pick i'm taking jalen green over evan moby because jalen green and kpj i don't think he can really pass up on a duo like that you know they're both re really athletic jalen green can shoot the ball kpj can shoot the ball even though he shot the three ball at a 32 percent clip over the season while jalen green in the g league shot it at 37 percent from three so uh that'd be a really good duo kpj and jalen green everyone knows that but if i'm the houston rockets and i'm taking fit over talent which obviously i wouldn't do Evan Moby is obviously there because he has defense. He has perimeter defense, interior defense, someone that can handle the ball, can shoot the ball at a decently high clip for a center, you know, 30% over the season in college. So if I'm the Houston Rockets and they want fit over town, then yeah, Evan Moby is obviously the way, but Jalen Green is obviously the best player we need to get because he might honestly be better than Cade. I think he is better than Cade right now because he played in the G League with a lot of past NBA players, obviously Jeremy Lin, Jared Jack, people like that. So uh, I think Jalen Green could honestly be better than, well, he could possibly be the best player in this draft, to be honest with you. So yeah, with the second overall pick, I'm taking Jalen Green at number two. So for the 23rd pick, I'm taking Daron Sharp. Now, Daron Sharp is a center slash forward out of North Carolina. And for the most part, he has been really good for them. I mean, 10 points per game, 8 rebounds, 1 assist, 52% from the field, which is really good. The only downside to his game is that he just can't shoot the three ball. He didn't shoot any threes at all over the season and shot 51% from the free throw line. So his liability is that he just can't shoot. But he kind of reminds me a little bit like a Clint Capella type of player. Not really. He could become kind of like that. Not really. I mean, he does have a better offensive game than Clint Capella. He can't protect the rim, just averaging a block a game and a steal a game. So for the most part, he is what the Houston Rockets are looking for off the bench. Someone that can rim protect off the bench, a center, a really good center off the bench that can have some offensive ability and some defensive ability. Because the big men off our bench this year, DJ Wilson and Cam Oliver, I want to say, they just had some flaws on the defensive end. I mean, Cam Oliver, he wasn't a really good rebounder. DJ Wilson wasn't a good defender. He had good offense, same thing with Cam Oliver, but no defense at all. So bring in Daron Sharp, let DJ Wilson and Cam Oliver walk. Bring in Daron Sharp, who can provide some defense and offense at the same time. I mean, a little bit more defense than offensive ability, but he is someone that can dunk the ball and someone that's good in the pick and roll. I've seen a lot of good clips from him. Someone that can basically dunk the ball. You know, he is just 6'11", 265 pounds. So really good for a center slash forward off the bench. And honestly, I wouldn't be too mad about him being starting either because if we get Jalen Green, we can start Darren Sharp at the five and then start Christian Wood at the four. Uh, that duo right there. I don't really know how that work because Darren Sharp would probably be in the paint. He wouldn't be able to stretch the floor. So for the most part, I don't really see Daron Sharp being anything other than a borderline star, but a really good role player. So I think I I really like Daron Sharp on the C man. Daron Sharp, he probably could be one of the best role players off our bench. Could become a sixth man, I guess. Not really. Some that could come in, bring in some defense, some offense, and then just get out of there. So with the 23rd pick, I'm taking Daron Sharp. Now, assuming that we don't get Daron Sharp, there's also JT Thor. Now, I don't know too much about JT Thor because this is a name that has been popping up lately, but hasn't been popping up before the NBA draft lottery, before anyone got any picks. So JT Thor, he's definitely a little bit of a mystery to me because just I haven't heard of his name enough. So over the season, he's actually been averaging 
let's see 9.4 points so nine points per game uh where is his rebounding yeah man i mean it doesn't look too bad his assists he is averaging one assist i mean he is a, well, a, a center i want to say uh, let's go to espn so over the season nine yeah nine points per game five rebounds and assists shooting 44 percent from the field as a forward which kind of kind of scares me to be honest i mean he did have some pretty good games in college he did play for auburn uh, his career high, I think it was, yeah, 24 points, which is ridiculous. 100% from the free throw line, shot 3-3. 83% from three, which is actually really good in that game. But over the season, he actually is averaging... What is this? 20... 30% from three, which isn't that great, but it's better than Darren Sharp's stretch... Yeah, stretch floor stretching ability. So, for the most part, J JT Thor, I think he could be... A decent player on the team i'm not really too sure but i don't know jt thor would be a really good second option if you don't get daron sharp so uh front now for the 24th pick we're looking for a guard well, not really necessarily a guard but we're looking for a forward off the bench i mean who would be really left i mean josh christopher i mean i'm not really too sure about all these players because i don't i haven't done too much scouting but have done some scouting for daron sharp obviously um obviously Jalen green evan moby you know obviously the top prospects of this draft class but no one in really like the 20s range i mean josh christopher i heard his name going around a few times he is averaging 14 points per game five rebounds and one assist which honestly isn't that bad i'm not really too sure what he's projected to go i think he was projected to fall to around like 20 around there so uh, if you just look up a draft a mock draft i mean we could just see this i mean let's see Go to CBS. So yeah, I mean Josh Christopher, if he landed to us, he'd be really nice. I mean he is a guard. I think he's a what a guard slash forward. I want to say. I mean, uh yeah, oh, actually no, he's a guard. I mean, if you're getting Josh Christopher, then I'm mostly trading DJ Augustine and Daniel House for a second round pick because the second round pick in this draft would be really good. There's a lot of good names in the second round, so maybe trading House and DJ Augustine for a second round pick and then getting Josh Christopher in the draft really good scenario right there we get rid of augustine and house we bring in the second round pick we can get someone that can be possibly better than both augustine and house and bring in josh christopher who's obviously going to have more upside and probably be a better player than both house and dj augustine so uh, for the most part the lineup would be probably john wall kpj j sean tate christian wood and then daron sharp and then off the bench probably assuming that we trade augustine and house It'd probably be Josh Christopher, probably Kyrie Thomas, maybe Armani Brooks if you decide to bring him back because he still is on a two-way contract. And uh, who am I forgetting? Probably Olenek. Probably Olenek would probably come back. Sterling Brown or Noah, but either one of those two. So our team is still relatively not that good. But for the most part, it's going to take some time for this team to develop because we do have a lot of young guns, a lot of good potential upside, really good upside uh, young players i mean obviously kpj with really good upside jay sean tate he is 26 but can definitely improve still his three-point shot needs some work darren sharp can improve his stretch floor stretching ability christian wood obviously improve his defense so for the most part this team is actually really good it just needs some time to develop into really good players kpj jalen green like we need to wait for them to develop into really good players alongside each other get john wall out here get eric gordon out here so yeah, man, I mean, I'm pretty excited for the draft on the 29th, and hopefully we do the right moves. I mean, I, I, I say this in every video, but I believe in Raphael Stone, man, I really do. He has done some pretty good things for this organization so far. Not the best job, but not the worst job. Probably the best job he could have done with the cards he was dealt. So, uh, that's my take on the best draft scenario for the Houston Rockets. And hopefully they take Jalen Green, Darren Sharp, or JT Thor, and Josh Christopher. So, uh, that's the end of the video. Check out the video, drop in the little prescribe button, and I'm out, peace.